Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. I'm glad to be back. We got a good one for you today. I want to get this off. We quick don't have a ton of time, so I want to get this off. We quick, quick, quick. It's like Aaron Rodgers get rid of the ball in the pocket, get rid of it quick. But I got uh, Sandy Erdenbach versus uh, Fancy Fortunata Seya. This is a really good fight. It's the co-main event on the Pro Box card tonight. I'm going to try to release this because this is an intriguing fight that I, I, I want to get out to y'all. Uh, before we get to that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for uh, every single major fight. So you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Uh, so join the Patreon. Get the lock of the week. Link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker below. Just $5 a month gets the absolute best gambling advice anywhere in the boxing universe. It gets the lock of the week. It gets you asked to bookie anything. It gets you request a video. It gets you the updated props. It gets you so much more. It gets you the absolute best gambling advice for just $5 a month. Also, guys, head over to carnivore carnivorebar.com and get the carnivore bar. Uh, the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar that's carnivore bar i uh, just i use promo code boxing at checkout that's promo code boxing at checkout to save 10 percent on carnivore bar on the move nutrition without compromise that's the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar carnivore the carnivore bar.com all right y'all um, also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Sandy Erdenbat, Southpaw, cuts off the ring. Well, two times Olympian. Really, I think he won a silver medal. Really, really fundamentally sound. Knows how to fight. Technically sound. Calm and patient in the ring. Good skills on the inside. Nice right hook. Really, really nice right hook. Decent head movement. He can he can make you miss. He can block shots. He can roll. He rolls well. Good defensive fighter. He just knows how to fight really well. Hard jab. Throws shots with solid snap. He doesn't have a ton of knockouts. His knockout ratio isn't great, but you can see he's got more power than his his, his knockout ratio suggests. Good uppercuts. Good skills on the inside. He's an all around good fighter. Uh, he's a little short. Best weight's 130. He jabs in, jabs in. He works the body really well. He's really good on the inside. This is the, 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 the gentleman that uh sent Ryan Garcia home with the with the broken rib or the, or the bruised rib or whatever during training camp for Javante Davis. This is the guy that did that. This guy is good. He sent Ryan Garcia home. Uh he dropped Garcia with a with a body shot when he was prepping for, for tank. Terrific body puncher. Really, really digs the body well. Mixes up his shots really well. Great timing. Great, great counter puncher. He works his way in. He stays busy. He makes you miss. There's good pop on his shots. He's just a good fighter. This is a difficult guy to deal with. Uh, this is a prospect that I really, really like. Like, this is a guy low key to keep an eye on. <clears throat> Who's he got? He's got uh, Frenzy Fortunata Seya. Guy has multiple names. Uh, there's plenty of tape on him. If, if you go on uh, Daily Motion on YouTube, there's plenty of tape on him. I found three or four fights on him. Uh, he took a two year layoff after after uh, twenty was it twenty twenty two. He took a long layoff. He came back. Uh, he beat an unbeaten prospect on Showbox last year on one of the, the last Showbox cards of the year, uh, ever. Um, and now my box track isn't working. He upset a fighter named uh, Bernardo on uh, Angelo Torres. And this was uh, in Valley's Event Center in Atlantic City. But he's a good athlete. Good twitch. Good speed. Accurate from the outside. He's quick. He can use the ring, but he's a front foot guy. He's a, an athlete, and he's fast, and he's got good feet, good speed, but he likes to come forward. He's not real comfortable off the back foot. He's pretty basic, not a ton of movement. He's not really difficult to hit for a good athlete. He uh, doesn't. He likes to be aggressive. He can move and use the ring, but his bread and butter is coming forward, and that's not going to bode well for him in a fight with Erdenbat. All he really is is fast. He, he's fast and he can land accurately from the outside. He doesn't have a ton of pop. 
Although, you know, his knockout ratio is, is pretty good. He's got 11 knockouts in 15 wins, but you haven't seen that come against. And now you haven't seen that come against the better competition. Uh, uh, he's got a KO over a guy that, uh, Cardi Montenegro in the Dominican Republic, but when he stepped up, uh, he's fought better competition. He's mostly gone the distance. I don't think he gets the win. I, I, I think he lands clean from the outside. Um, he's just really fast. That's all, all he really has is, is he's fast. He, he leaves himself wide up in the counter. He gets a little over aggressive sometimes. He's willing to make a scrap on a fight on the inside when he really wants to be a, at long range, but he can't fight off the back foot. So he's one of the, those weird guys that likes to be at range but doesn't like to go backwards. <laughs> Not, not not a ton of not a pop, not a ton of volume. He's got a quick snappy jab for sure. I like his jab. I like how he can set things up, but it's a lot of one punch at a time. It's just a lot of flick the jab, flick the jab, try to score with the jab, and that's really it. Uh, he's a he's a decent fighter, uh, but I think Ertin Bat is a is a real real high level prospect to say the least. So let's take a look at the odds. Um, I'll show you guys something because I like this fight. Third and bat is at minus 650. I think this is easy money. You can put one and a half times on this. You should hit $150 bet pays $2307. But I really like this as a parlay for today. I mean, this is not bad. It's going to pay minus 1.9. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Erden Bat and Colbert. Uh Erden Bat and Colbert. Two-way part life pay minus 149. I like it a lot. These odds keep getting worse and worse on Colbert. This is something that I like a lot. It pays pretty well. I, I would look into a two-way parlay, but this is also something you can build your parlay around. You can you can use this as a parlay and you can get decent odds on it. This is something I, I, I like a lot. So keep an eye on this, guys. Erden Bat on a money line. I think Erden Bat probably wins this by decision. Uh, do I have props on this? You have some props on this. Erden Bat by KO. Erden Bat by decision is even money. I like that a lot. Over eight and a half. I like that a lot. That's something you might want to bet on. I really like the over eight and a half. Uh, that, that's something I might want to put some money on. But I like Earn Bat to win. Earn Bat on the money line. Uh, easy bet. I would take that. And then you could also take Chris Colbert. I like Chris Colbert. Chris Colbert by decision is at minus 120, guys. I think that's an excellent bet. I really think that's a good bet. Chris Colbert by decision. But you can just take Chris Colbert on the money line. You can take the over on that. These are bets I really, really like. Chris Colbert with the over, I like a lot. But this is a, this is a good bet. This is a good bet. All right, guys, I, I'm giving you some good information here. I right, Guys, join a Patreon because I, I got an interesting lock I want to put together here. I got some interesting bets I want to put together here. Head on over to patreon.com. Just files a month. It gets you the updated props. It gets you the lock of the week. Shows you the props that I like here. They drop these props all together. I've been waiting for this to come out, so I'm a little bit excited for this. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Erdenbat, Moneyline, uh, a two-leg parlay. Erdenbat Colbert is something I think is very sexy. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and remember to head over to carnivorebar.com. You get Carnivore Bar at 10% off when you use promo code BOXING. Uh, the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar. It is October 16th, uh, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.